Police on South Beach bracing for the start of another spring break weekend, hoping to avoid the deadly chaos we've seen so far. For years now, these images of chaos during spring break have been seen around the world. The big question now is how much damage is this doing? Potential tourists around the world have seen far worse headlines about South Florida before. Maybe you're old enough to remember the 1981 Time Magazine cover that asked if paradise was lost. With time, we got our reputation back as a destination to come live the glamorous life. Will Smith even had a hit song about how we all supposedly drive $100,000 cars. And South Beach especially became synonymous with the glitz and glam of South Florida. Remember the big decision from LeBron James? He didn't say I'm joining the Miami Heat. He said I'm taking my talents to South Beach. So is this bad publicity doing South Florida harm? Our friends at Ocean Drive Magazine, who certainly know a thing or two about what's trendy and popular, say our reputation will survive just fine. CBS News Miami's Gabrielle Arzola explains. When you Google South Beach, you see anything but good stories lately. So has that city's allure gone away for good? Well, I asked the experts. Today is the 30th anniversary of Ocean Drive magazine. These pages highlight the glitz, glamour, and fashion that South Beach has known for years. Models rollerblading up and down Ocean Drive and celebrities and, you know, Versace was coming and it was just, it was a very exciting time. Jacqueline Power's father, Jerry, started the Ocean Drive magazine. She says the focus of the magazine was always on South Beach because South Beach was the place to be. But recently, this is what Ocean Drive has looked like. National headlines moved away from glamour to highlight the dangerous shootings and crime that have left people wondering, is the positive image of South Beach gone for good? There is certain ways that we adapt to the future in the new Miami, but we still need to honor the old Miami. Editor-in-Chief Paige Mastrandero runs Ocean Drive magazine. She tells me the magazine has expanded to not just cover the beach, but to other growing areas of South Florida. She tells me readers are more interested on what South Florida is as a whole, not just focus on South Beach anymore. Singer Wycliffe John says the idea of what Miami is has changed over the years. I call it global gumbo, baby. That's what Miami is. And the world gets to experience it. And says, despite what happened recently, the thought of South Beach remains positive. And I don't think that that negativity overweighs that beautiful energy, right? For every bad story on Ocean Drive, there's 20 million great stories. So not at all. I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS News, Miami.